JG's cookbook is ready to cool you off, this time with three mocktails. Yes, and you are really going to enjoy it because I'm going to show you something which is going to clean and um, revitalize you and cool you from within. Welcome to JG's cookbook. And I'm sure you're all going to enjoy this episode because it's certainly, certainly going to help you during the heat of the summer. It is really hot nowadays and the best thing to do is to cool from within. Juices are the best option and how to drink the juices are another thing altogether. And that's why I'm ready to show you, well, three lovely mocktails. And it's going to really, really re-energize you, revitalize you, cool you, cleanse you with all different sorts of uh, fruits. I'm going to use melons and I'm going to use strawberries going to uh, mint, cucumbers, different, different things. And I'm going to show you and tell you what these things are all good in their specific ways. So let's all be ready and let's start this episode to chill you all and with me. We're going to start off with our melon cleanser. Now, this is known as a melon, okay? It's known as cantaloupe too, and it belongs to the melon family. Mm the watermelon, uh, the cantaloupe, and it's also called the honeydew, okay? Um, and, well, as, well, now I'll, I'll actually cut it open and show you what, uh, how it looks like and how to deal with it. Uh, it contains mainly, because it's orange in color, it contains beta carotene, potassium, uh, a lot of, lot of antioxidants, which are really, really good. Main thing is it cleanses your system. It really cleanses your system. So that's why I'm going to show you a, a very, very lovely mm, uh, melon um, mocktail, which is also, now the, the taste of melon is very mellow. That's why probably it's got this name, melon. Very mellow, very uh, unobtrusive. Uh, it doesn't interfere too much. It's very, very light, very delicate, beautiful taste, and it has a lovely melony uh, smell. So first of all, let me first um, prepare my, my mocktail glass, okay? So first, like my usual thing, just going to round it and put some caster sugar. Okay, this is just for the beautiful effect of it, okay? Now, let's, uh, well, first of all, it's prepared, and let's just cut off a section of this just to decorate it. Oh, lovely orange. Mm, beautiful. Okay, now uh, what we have to do is we have to deal with our melon, okay? I'm going to show you exactly how to deal with it. Now, first of all, just cut it. Mm, beautiful. You just look at the color inside, okay? Beautiful. Look at it. It's so beautiful. The, the, it, this is actually the lemon, melon color, and uh, the, the oranginess, of it shows that it contains beta carotene. A lot of potassium is also in this. Okay, now how you deal with this is you take a tablespoon and gouge out the seeds. Okay, just gouge out the seeds because we don't need the seeds. Hmm. Okay, now for this, we just need half a melon, okay? So we just keep this aside and we we'll need a mixer. Okay, and we just gouge out the flesh into the mixer, the blender. Okay, now this is very soft and very ripe, so it's going to be very, very easy to do. Make sure all the juices fall into it. Mmm, gorgeous. Very juicy melon. The smell is absolutely mm, electrifying. It's so calming. It really calms your senses. Beautiful. Mm. 
Okay, so that's all gouged out. Okay, it's all gouged out. Don't need that. Now we need a bit of orange juice, fresh orange juice. Might as well have it, just, you know, a little bit, just to aid everything along. Okay, sugar as per your taste. Okay, I don't want. In fact, I don't put uh, sugar at all. You can avoid sugar. Um, absolutely, you know, it's up to you. One cup of mango juice. One cup of mango juice. Hmm, gorgeous. One cup of orange juice. And just mix together. Blend. Let that whisk together really well so that you get a lovely, lovely juice. Now, my melon cleanser is done. All I have to do is, well, pour it into the prepared glass. Now, it would be nice if uh, you could um, add some ice to make it nice and cool. Okay, now this, these are chilled, okay? All this, the honeydew, uh, the mango juice, and the orange juice, it was really, really chilled well. So um, you don't have to add ice, but to add to the zing of it, it's better to um, add some ice. And I'm going to do that. So we wait. Yep. And we're going to add some ice. just pour our melon cleanser in there our first mocktail is ready that is our orange cocktail it's got an orangey color I've got, I'm going to show three different colored co mocktails so the first one, mocktail is done we we'll put the ice back now the next one the first one was a melon cleanser. The second one is a cooler, okay? And it's a cucumber cooler. Very, 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 very uh, good for you, you know? Cucumbers are obviously very, very good cooling agents and um, totally, totally, totally good for you. Um, I'm not going to take the skin out because I need the skin. It is good for you, okay? So just chop a cucumber. Mm. Cool, beautiful. Okay, and just plonk it in the blender. Okay, we need some seedless grapes, half a cup of seedless green grapes, which goes in. Okay, and simple, a little bit of lime. Okay. In fact, one lime. And I'm just going to squeeze in. Mm. Love the smell of it. Very refreshing. Very, very refreshing. Mm. Gorgeous. Love it. Next one. The next half. And then goes. Mm. So it's uh, actually keeping with the green concept. Shows it's cool, okay? Sugar to taste and just whiz it, okay? Now, this needs a bit of help, so I'm just going to help it along, just squish it along. And the green thing is ready, the green cooling effect is ready. Now, that is going on there. I need some mint because mint is, all, again, mint is a cooler. It has a lovely smell. Mint, uh, cucumber and uh, lemon or lime goes really well together. Okay. So what I need to do is just chop it anyhow. This is 
is ready and done. This is okay. And there, that's done. Now I need one more lime just to decorate the glass. This time I'm taking correct, lovely uh, mocktails glass. And I've got green sugar. Well, I need some green sugar. Um, round we go. And to the prepared glass, I'm going to actually uh, pour this, half of it, okay? Because I need to add, now this is a thick mixture. Hmm? So uh, I need to add a little bit of soda because I, this needs soda, okay? So I'll need a bit of ice again. So go back to my freezer. And a wee bit of ice. Ice, ice, baby. There. And then we pour just half of it. Okay, this probably is for two. And then we add our soda, which I'm going to open. I hope this doesn't sprout out on me. Oh, God. This is what I was afraid of. <laughs> okay. And then just add it. Mm. Be careful, be careful, be careful. And then we'll add a little bit of mint. Okay, this is exciting, really exciting. A little bit of mint leaves. Oh, gorgeous. Lovely. Just pour a little bit more. Hmm. And yes, I'm ready with it. I hope I find my cap so it doesn't go off. So the uh, cucumber mint cooler is ready. My second one. Okay, which is going to cool you. It's a cool karma. Okay, so the second mocktail is ready. Now let's go for the third one. That is my strawberry fizz. Okay, now this is a very, very lovely or strawberry fizz actually, because it contains uh, soda also. And it's really, really uh, very, very um, interesting. Um, and also it is uh, very, very popular among children. Very, very pretty to look at too. So uh, what we need first is uh, strawberries. Hmm? Now, I've got some strawberries here. Hmm? Uh, it's always better to uh, use small to medium strawberries. Don't use the mm, big ones. The big ones don't have that much flavor. It's always the small to, big, uh, small to medium ones which have the most flavor. Now, um, now the real strawberries, if you, if you actually... Um, go to Europe and everything, you get really luscious, juicy red strawberries, but you don't get that, unfortunately, you don't get it out here. Um, and it needs some help. So, uh, first of all now, this is the only fruit, okay, which actually wears seed outside the fruit, okay? This dones, it like, a, like a coat, it dones its seeds outside the fruit. And yes, it's full of vitamin C very rich in vitamin C, very, very rich in vitamin C. Now, uh, first of all, for this, it's a very, 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 very simple one. It's a red one. We have our green one, we have our orange one, and now we're going for a red one. Okay, now, <clears throat> just hull all these strawberries. Hulling means taking out the, the tops. Okay. Now, this must be around 200 grams, rather 150 grams, because I've been gorging on it now. Okay. Another thing is that, now this particular thing, it sparked an idea in me. In the sense, 
strawberries are actually from the rose family okay and that's why i decided to um, mix this the east with the west and mix it um, with some rose water so it's well a sort of um, arabian arabian sort of um, lovely uh, red um, mysterious drink okay so that's why i decided to put rose water in this it's going to be really lovely mm. okay always see i always enjoy the smell of strawberries oh just I always have uh, stressed on the color of your de well, different um, food. Um, you have to include lots of different different colors, natural color uh, in food. So red, green, yellow, everything all has its own benefits. So try to take color from nature and use it for your benefit. Don't depend upon artificial colors. I'm not stressing on artificial. I'm talking about natural colors, which uh, you find in natural food. Okay. Okay. Now, what I do here is just put these gorgeous strawberries, red lovely strawberries, into the blender. And um, a little spritz of, now if it's too sour, if your strawberries are too sour, don't add the lime. Otherwise just a spritz of lime, just a little bit, okay? Need some cast sugar, a whole lot, in fact a whole lot. And then I need some pomegranate seeds, which is not mandatory. Okay, you, if you have pomegranate seeds, you can. Otherwise, it's not a big deal. It's just to go with the Arabian Nights concept. And then for our real Arabian essence is our uh, rose water. Okay, pour some rose water there. It all depends on how much you want. And just whiz into a wonderful red mixture. While that's going on, I'm going to prepare my mm, lovely strawberry glasses. And that's what I'm going to do is just orange, lime, anything. And just dip it in. Okay. Again. The same thing. Now when you do this, make sure you don't press it in. Because if you press it in, the juice will go inside and it's going to look really stupid. Or it's not going to look good. got a lovely gorgeous uh, strawberry mixture ready uh, half fill the glass with the strawberry mixture and then the other half uh, soda chilled soda no ice in this I don't want ice in this if you want ice go ahead mmm lovely oh god so beautiful mm. And then we top it off with our soda. And this time it didn't whiz all over me. Okay, and then just top it off. Oh, gorgeous. Looks absolutely beautiful. So, all three are ready that is okay uh, my wonderful strawberry fizz is ready and i'm mm, 
wonderfully, wonderfully excited to have it. Um, my, my melon cleanser, my cucumber cooler, and my strawberry fizz are all ready waiting for you.